Burnout makes a lot of sense when we look at it through the lens of the nervous system. Burnout doesn't happen because you don't have enough willpower, you're not strong enough, or you're not resilient. Or it's not true that you're lazy. It actually makes a lot of sense from a physiological point of view. Now, let's imagine here that this beautiful bath is the state of regulation. And it feels a little bit like that when we move into regulation. It's like melting into a warm bath where the temperature is just right. So what needs to happen to have this regulation is a blend of two energies or two states. So one is that hot water or the mobilizing energy of our nervous system. This particularly comes from the sympathetic nervous system state. Now, often this gets demonized because we think, well, this is where fight or flight comes from, so it's bad, but it's not. This energy is actually the energy that gives you play, vitality, passion, drive. We need this energy. And when it's combined with this cooling energy, from what we call our dorsal vagal state, we get the just right temperature of regulation. Now what happens in times of chronic stress is that we might live in this state where we have all of this hot water coming in. So we're anxious, we're mobilized. Let's just say you're facing a chronic stressor in your life. It could be a relationship issue, something to do with work, it might be something to do with a business and you're mobilized for long periods of time. So it's almost like you're always in this state where there's too much hot water. And when that happens, it can lead to a lot of anxiety. It can lead to sleepless nights and you feel like you're wired. Now, over time, if we always have this energy on, it's a little bit like we deplete this system it's almost like we run out of hot water. And so then all we have going into our bath is the cold water. And that's of the dorsal vagal state, which brings a mobilization. Now, with a mobilization, we can feel this sense of chronic fatigue. We might feel foggy, spacey, like we just can't get started on things, no matter how hard we try. And this isn't the same as being lazy. It's a physiological experience that's happening. And so in this state, we might hear the thoughts and stories like, my situation's hopeless. No matter what I do, it's not going to be enough. So these stories come with particular states that we're in. And the story from this state is one of disconnection and hopelessness. So many of the things that are commonly recommended when it comes to nervous system regulation, like slow, deep breaths, where we focus on an exhalation, or it could be some types of mindfulness, calming down, letting go, slowing down, are actually turning this tap off more so that we have more of the cold water. Now, in this case, if we wanna move out of freeze, if we wanna move out of that shut down, collapsed energy of this cold tap water, we actually need to bring more of this mobilizing energy in so that the water can be warm again. And these are the resources that up-regulate your nervous system. So it's things like play, movement, it's connecting with people. What are the things that mobilize your nervous system in a safe way? So I can think of the places that I visit that bring a sense of awe. And this is a really spectacular viewpoint when I take a hike, and I see myself looking out to something spectacular and there's a mobilization right through my body. It's almost like goosebumps come in. And this is a way that we can feel this mobilizing energy start to come back in, but we're not overwhelming our system. So the key to having a balanced and healthy nervous system, if you tend to fall into this state where there's fatigue, exhaustion, hopelessness, where you feel like no matter how hard you try, you're stuck, where you tend to freeze in challenging times, 
is to gently upregulate your nervous system and add back in some of the hot water so that you can spend time in that beautiful warm state of regulation.